Hello everybody, this is Val with This is how we do it. <laughs> Something is messed up right here. I'm trying to mess it, fix it. Hey y'all, this is Val with This is how you do it. I am on here and someone wanted to see some of my artwork. The one I wanted to show, I can't put my hands on it right now. But these are some pencils that I have in, in a jar, colored pencils, and those stay in that jar because in my case, I, I got this case from, uh, <laughs> I didn't forget. <laughs> okay, let me, let me open it up for you because it's, um, It opens up like this, and you put your sketch pad right here to draw on. Now, and then they have a little man in here that that you put up, stand him on something if you want to draw a body or a figure of somebody. This is your sponge to wipe the chalk off. Off if you use the chalk. Now the re what I'm doing now, I'm trying to put everything back in place because when you move this all the pencils fall out of their little slots and so what I'm doing now is I'm I didn't have it organized before I came in and I'm not gonna feel rushed cuz I, I, I was just not feeling rushed and I was gonna rush through this video to uh, show my artist tools and I don't I'm I say artists but I do this as a hobby something that's that I like to do sort of like meditation and things things like that and um so I'm gonna take pick you up because if I pick that up that'll fall and this is the way it looks on the inside with those pencils right there that's the way that looks and then you have a hinge let me see can I move this over I guess I'm going the wrong way it has a hinge down here that you unlock you unlock these two drawers right here and then you pull this out this is a draw with chalk and pencils this is a this is colored chalk here I have to kind of see try to look in it too to see what y'all see Wait a minute, something is catching. Oh yeah, I still got the thing hooked up. See, that's the way that looks. That that first drawer, and this got a cover on it, and that's colored chalks right there. Then you cover that up, and this is an eraser here. With, I mean a sharpener, not an eraser, a sharpener, pencil sharpener. And this is like... um something you rub on the board to um or you're drawing to kind of blend blend stuff out and then okay we close this drawer back up mind you you still got that top that top drawer right there and then you got your second drawer under here pull the second drawer out the second drawer has all of your dark colors like your blacks and and, and all of that Oh, see, that's that's your blacks and your ch black chalk and your white chalk and all of that kind of stuff. I need to pull it out a little bit more so you can see the white chalks. Now that's what I'm working with right here. Those are black chalks right there, and then you have the white ones. And these are papers what you do your smudging with, and then your black pencils. all your dark pencils here the colored pencils here all your colors and then you have this top drawer and then you turn it around to actually sit, sit your pad on to draw on and then you close that up and you carry that with you when you are going out it has a handle right here to carry it with you And I, like I say, I have that extra, that extra 
thing of pencils here. I have some crayons, but these crayons are for melting down, making uh, lipstick. I don't use these. I use these to make lipstick, but I do have some crayons. Now, I have a drawing that I had took out to, sh and it was an older drawing that I did when I was really passionate about my drawing. I folded it up, which I shouldn't have folded it up, into three pieces, four pieces. And I probably stuck it in here or stuck it up under this desk. I'm look, I was looking for it because one of my subscribers asked me to show them some of my pictures after I had did that to that. Okay. Now these are, these are really nothing fancy. It's just therapeutic drawings. This is what I was just feeling. I had nothing to look at, nothing to go by. This was just what I was feeling that day. So I draw sort of according to what I'm feeling. I'm that kind of drawer. And I'm not good at looking at people and drawing people and things of that nature. I just can I just can feel draw. And then I said, let me see, can I draw some fruit? Never drew fruit before. And then I did this one. Don't know if you can see it all. Like I say, this is just in impression drawings, uh, inspirational drawings. And then when the military thing was going on, my son, my oldest son, uh, he he um, is a retired or a veteran, I guess you would say. He did two tours of Afghanistan and then, you know, did this. Real young, so, you know, freedom is not free. Uh, there is sacrifices that are made. That's just, just what I was feeling at the time. And that's not what my son looked like. That's I don't I don't think I I don't can't draw people, really. And this is just I was trying to do something for my grandbabies. I don't know. I don't know if I did good. I don't even know if they would like it. And this says I am eleven weeks old. <laughs> that's what that say. Like I said, your girl's kind of silly sometimes. And this says, do what's best, do what's right, treat others the way you want to be treated. <laughs> That's supposed to be somebody wise talking to you. Talking to me. <laughs> oh, goodness. And then I want to go and do a cartoon, have a great day. That was in my days where I was saying, like, okay, can I do a cartoon? I didn't think I I didn't think I could do cartoons and I didn't think I can do fruit so <laughs> so I tried it and then this is another cartoon it says going to be a windy day <laughs> so you know it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a nice wind today. That's what that says. And then that's the end of that. But I did not put that other picture in here. Oh, this says I was looking at this at one more time. I think this is for Vincent. No, that's not Vincent. That's me. <laughs> okay, now. That's that sketch pad. I have two sketch pads here. I'm I'm gonna show you the ones I put I framed later. Oh, there's nothing on this one. Cause I I haven't done it in a while. Um. Oh, sure. I can't put that down. This this is uh. I don't know what I was trying to draw something for Jaleel. And this looked too scary because I was doing too much around the eyes and too much around the mouth. And Jaleel is like three years old, and I thought that's just a bit too much. Because I was going to give all of them a little drawing of of uh, what their granny did. I gave Lil Joe one. Lil Joe got here. He said he wanted a Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse was easy for me to do. And so what I ended up doing for Jaleel to do something with a softer face, I end up doing this. She's three. It's 
it might not look like much oh yeah I did sign it but you can look at the shadows and the makeup and the contouring and all that stuff and I framed it to give it to her because she is like I say she's three I don't want to scare her in the middle of the night <laughs> I wanted to be some nice loving eyes looking at her and I did the eyes as close to granny eyes beautiful eyes as possible and it says to Jaleel from grandma beauty comes from within that's what I wrote on it beauty comes from within so hopefully she's three she'll grow up with that in her, her head because this will be on her wall that granny gave her and it says beauty comes from within and then the one I did for little Joe it says I'm a good boy I'm a smart boy it's just said so many positive things within his drawing for him and this is a drawing that I was inspired to do like this I believe this is sort of like a self portrait of me sitting in this big old southern house thinking about the flowers that grow in my garden that's what that paper says it's a poem which I don't remember all the words now but I wrote it down on that sheet of paper about the flowers no it says about the birds in my garden the birds that sing in the garden and it talked about the birds and the flowers are the most some of the most beautiful uh, birds and beautiful flowers in in the world and that little black spot that was on the hair that came off that was like lint see but this this is those are the only two I ever framed and there are some more that were worthy of framing but the big sketch I had a big sketch pad that's in one of my closets I don't have that at hand because one time I put my sketch pad down and I, I kept it down for a lot because I did I did the frame when Willie was in his prime I did the, the male frame was it from behind the back and the, uh, the strength of the arms and the butt and the thighs and all that kind of stuff you know a nude I guess and um that kind of stuff so that is an example of some of the things I draw for the person that's interested in well you say you can draw I'm from show me Alabama show me I'm not a great artist I'm not one that can sit down like we me and you talking and I just sit down and look at you and do this and look at you and do this and look at you and do this my my stuff don't come from that with practice it may because I'm not focused on one thing at one time because I have so many talents and my mind is just like what's that old saying uh, when when people are gifted a jack of all trade and a master of none that's what I feel like and if you've seen the grand villa you see how I decorated the grand villa with all of this felt and I, I cut all that stuff and and made a beautiful park <laughs> with material that was laying around and how I built um, fire pits and things like that just stuff that comes I'm inspired by at the time now at the time when I was doing this drawing I was not drinking coffee I was drinking only tea and I was listening to soft music meditating kind of thing I was kind of into minds the mindset was more into reading and uh, uh, like a, a, a I would I would read like an insatiable you know it's just but now I don't do that anymore. It's like book books. I just had I just had to get with those books, you know. But now I'm not doing that. So, and now I'm doing into music and like sewing. At one time I used to sew. I I, I did put my sewing machine over here, like I told y'all I was gonna. You can probably see it over my shoulder that I was gonna put my sewing machine on that desk right there. I did do it. Right there. That's the sewing machine. So I did put my sewing machine on that back desk, and when I go get a spool of thread, because <laughs> I have to um, get supplies for sewing, when I go get a spool of thread, then I start sewing something up. 
cause, cause I need a big spool to fit on there. And right now, I got one of them little bitty uh, kits spools on there, like the little bitty small one, no bigger than your thumb. Let me let me see. Can I tilt you down a little? See this little thing right here? See how little that is? See that's my, I need a big one to actually do any sewing. So that that's not gonna work. And this right here is a needle point. Needle point. Needle point. You know what needle point? When you have those little round things and you have like little designs that you put on pillowcases and and things like that. It's sort of like a Southern Victorian thing mindset. I don't know. Y'all probably do it too, so I don't know. That may just be just maybe me talking. But the spools of thread that I have is like this. I need a regular size spool of thread. These are kids. They in here. That's what this looks like. And this like spools spools like this. This is what you do your uh, needle point with stuff like this. And that's what I use to string my my strings up there to hang my jewelry on. I use this this kind of thread. It's not crochet thread and it's not spool thread that you put on the sewing machine. It's a little thicker than that. And I have every color that you can imagine in this kit right here. And and it's on both sides. Um, need to get some needles to do that. Um, what else did I do that I'm a, I'm not a master at any, but I'm, I can do. Okay, um, crochet. I can knit and crochet. Here are some crochet needles. Not for the hair. That's a different kind of needle. That's a different kind of crochet needle, the one that they put in the hair. I had it standing up over here. Here it is. This is the crochet needle that people, when they do crochet braids in their hair, that's that needle. This needle right here is for crocheting like yarn. And then I, I, I used to do some knitting at one time. Right now I don't have any knit needles, but I don't have any yarn either, so I don't do that anymore either. Let me see what else that is. that I do. I like to paint. Uh, I have not tried painting on a canvas like this. I mean like painting the walls, painting uh, stuff outside, spray painting and, and painting with a, with a brush. I like to paint with a brush but I do that outside. Like um, the walls, the um, it will it build something, I will paint it. So I don't know if I have an a interest in painting because I draw and actually what I can see something outside like a house or a wall or or something and I can say that would be pretty this color I already see it before it's actually done and then I will do it and make it look look like what I see in my head and that's the same way when when I built we built the grand villa the how it's de uh, decorated I saw it in my head first and how I built the fire pits I saw it in my head first and then I build them so or if I don't have the strength to do something, I seeing it in my head and I can tell somebody to do it. But then when you tell somebody else to do what you see in your head, they always in some way try to do a shortcut or do it their way or something like this. And they kind of change your idea. So I really like to do stuff myself. When I tell people to do something like when they were building the Grand Villa and I told them to do it this way, well, they wanted to get quick and let me go and wrap it like this but that's not what I wanted it kind of changed the idea and you don't want to tell people well they helping you so you don't want to tell them they effing up your project because that's not your vision and when when a person has a vision you let that person if you're helping them 
tell you what the vision is and you follow the vision to the letter because if you put yourself in there, you don't have the vision. So you got to let the person with the vision direct what's going on. If you're just going to be the hands and the power and the muscle, that's me being passionate about what I'm doing right now. So this is bad, but what this is how you do it. We just found out, you know, Willie on leave, and he can only use his sick days and his comp time. And, and when that's over, they will not be paying him anymore. So I told Willie I need a drink. So he's going to have to go back early. Uh, he said he's going to probably go on back Monday and, and just be there. And, but he is feeling better, though, because they gave him some... Um, some asthma medicine. So he'll be going back Monday instead of taking off and and, and trying to recover. He said he's going to go in Monday and that he can do, that he can do, and that he can't, he won't. And, <laughs> and I said, well, okay. Mm -hmm. Because Willie has two more years before he retire. He don't want to just stop working because he will give up his retirement if he does that so he don't want to do that he want to try to hang in there uh let me plug this up because when i stood this up it came unplugged and the battery is about to die and i was telling somebody about my my this is my chrome tablet one i'm working on and this is the one that falling apart that i used to have a laptop and this i keep it plugged up up under here it then died y'all Okay, I'm just thinking I turn it on. Okay, I can turn it on. The lights come on. And it come on for a few minutes. See, windows just came up. I only had this. I got this after my mom passed. And my mom would be, be, uh, be dead. Um, it's three years now, but she'll be dead four years in, in uh, February. February the 12th. Now, that's when I got this, shortly after she passed, and then I started doing videos, and I told you when I did videos, it was therapeutic. And sometime within that time, this Chrome tablet was on sale for about uh, $200 or $300, or $100 or $200, and I ended up buying it. Look at that. Wait a minute. It's vibrating now. Uh, let me show you. It's still long. See? See that light right there? Can you see it? That light is still on. You can probably hear it. It just it just stopped. Where's my oh? You can probably hear it. See it's still on. But look at the string. It crashed one day. And this is the on and off button. See I'm mashing it now. It just stopped. It just stopped. It just cut off. Now I'm gonna try to cut it back on. Look how pretty it is. See the light is on. It ain't doing nothing. That light, that light is, is on too. See, this right here, when windows come up, it die. It'll come on for a few seconds, then it'll go out. And this is the front of it. It's still lit up like it's on. And it's plugged up. And then I got this battery for it from Amazon because I thought that, that that's what was wrong with it. This is a replacement battery. I tried, y'all. And all I got is a replacement battery. I did not send it back to Amazon. I think this was like $12 because I was so disgusted. And I bought this thinking this would, this would help. And here's, here it is right here, that, that battery right there. I would... I was lost. I could have cried. I could have cried, y'all. And do you know how much money I spent for this? And then it, it, it I didn't have, I got, and I, mm -mm. I won't see that kind of money no more. Not, not the way I'm, I'm, I'm living now. And I just know I ain't gonna be able to buy and get another one. But I digress. Sometimes, you know what? Let me say this. I um, 
was talking to Willie about some. And I went to the health department. You know, so I don't I, I don't have health insurance because you know, uh, health insurance is too expensive for both of us. So I went to the health department. You know, I get checked out at uh, Montgomery uh, Health Department, and then right next door to it is the food stamp office and the uh, the children with those children um, child support and places like that. Now, some of them people go in there looking so bad, and Willie was saying that uh, some people said I shouldn't ride my motorcycle over there or I shouldn't look the way I look when I go over there and you know what I told him I said just because people fall on hard times that don't mean that they don't have the things that they had before they fall on hard times I say what you're saying is that if I got a fur coat and some jewelry and a nice car and then my husband leave me um, and I go and try to get some help, you saying them people won't help me. And he said, yeah, exactly. He said, you got to be damn near starving, and you got to look run down and broke down. And then he said, um, you, he told me that this girl lady that worked for the city, the director, said that she was not going to hire a lady because she was dressed better than she was, and she don't need no damn job. And I told Will, I said, that's why I ain't got no job yet. I applied for the state. I applied for the city. I got two degrees. And and I used, I was dressed to the hilts when I go on interviews. I said, Will, they teach us to dress nice when you go on interviews. He said, but I have heard them. And I said, I have seen people when I go on interviews look, I look better than they did the way I was dressed and the way I carried myself. And I didn't want to know why in the hell they got that job. He said that you got to look like you are starving for somebody to help you. And I had got to the point where I refused to be brought down to the point that I got to look like I'm starving. I don't have nothing for to get some help. I refused to do that. And then, you know, that had brought me to tears because I didn't think there were people out there that would judge you according to the way you look, which I should have known better, even when you need help. I told Will, I said, baby, you can go buy my paperwork. You can see I ain't worked in all this time. You can see, um, run my social security number. I mean, you can, and then, you saying they still won't help you? He said, no. That thing hurt me, because I didn't know people were so cold. People were so mean. Well, you know, going to the clinic, you know I have to pay a copay co anyway. It's just that we was having that conversation when I was seeing how them people look coming in and out of that building. You know what I'm saying? And I wasn't going there begging for nothing. I just needed a checkup because I had got high blood pressure. So I went in there to get a checkup because that's what happened to me on the job. I like to fell out. My pressure was over 200 and something in the low number. You know, spreading a stroke and a heart attack. So I went to the clinic because I didn't have any, any insurance. And when I saw some of them people... I'm not, I'm not going nowhere looking like that. I'm sorry. I'm not going nowhere with my hair, which I can make my hair stand on my head because you just seen me get out of bed looking like a hot damn mess. I'm not walking out the house looking like I just got out of bed and got a do-rag on my head. I, I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry. That's not that's not me. <laughs> Rich or poor. That's not me. And this is valid. This is how you do it. Some of us will never have nothing if we got the big bar and steal it. And this is bad with that. This is how you do it. I don't know how I got on that subject. But I'm saying it like this. Just because I got a diamond ring from when I married that other man, don't mean I'm finna pawn it. Which Willie said, that's what they want you to do. Pawn your ring. Sell your fur coat. Hawk your car. Because they don't want you riding to work no kind of way. They want somebody, you to have a big bar and steal a ride to get to work. Or ride the fucking bus. Excuse my friends. Y'all don't be like that. Y'all in positions. Stop it. Stop hating. I can't help being pretty. And if I put on any kind of lipstick, girl, your girl is good to go. And if she got some lashes on, sh <laughs> I'm being bad now. I, I'm trying to. I'm trying to say it in a light way. But y'all, you look at me. 
Some of y'all looking at me and probably say, Val, you should have been working a long time ago. You won't believe on all the jobs that I tried to get in Alabama and didn't get them. I mean good jobs. Good jobs. And went dressed appropriately and had the paperwork to bag me up. The degrees. I got a degree in computer networking and a degree in computer programming so I am a technical thinker. I'm not a clerical thinker. I am a technical thinker. I am an analyst thinker. I'm a visionary. I'm not a clerical person. I can type. I can type enough to, to use a laptop. Not type enough to be a clerical typist. So, um, I put in a job for a data entry work and didn't get it. Called back to find out why. They said you weren't qualified. And I got two degrees for daily entry. I'm not qualified. They say, well, you don't, uh, they said something about, uh, do you know how to type? I says, computer networking, computer programming. I work with computers. That says I can type. They didn't say I couldn't type so many words a minute. They just said data entry. They didn't even test me on typing. They said I couldn't type because with my degrees. I'm typing when I talk to y'all. But I digress. That was, I, I stopped looking for a job. When I, uh, I end up, when you say it bad, like I sick on job, I end up doing um, nurse's aid work. And then I got pulled down in here. And like uh, the pains that was in my groin almost took me to the floor lifting people much heavier than I was. I am. Remember I told you I wasn't no bigger than a toothpick and then it was pulling my insides down and then um, my father had passed and a lot of stuff was going on in the family and my pressure had went up so high I almost fell out on the job so that's when I stopped working and that's when Willie pulled me off working because I couldn't find a job with my degrees. I had to find a labor job. Well, you say, Val, that ain't a labor job. That's uh, You got a certificate to do that. Yes, I did get a certificate. I work with my certificate, not with my degrees. So I do have a nursing assistance certificate also. But the, the lowest piece of paper I had, that's what I got a job with. Something that I would have to use my muscles, my, 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 my arms, my legs, my back, pulling on people. And they pulling against me because they the elderly. And they pulling me down. But um, that's that's another story. Let me get off this thing. I, I'm telling y'all a little bit too much, but I'm just I just told y'all that because this is there with this is how she do it. Y'all get all you can. Try to own your own business. Try to don't let this. Uh, conversation about education stop you get all the education you can don't let nobody pull you down to a piece of bread if you can help it and this is that this is how you do it and i'll talk to you guys later bye bye